Hey guys, my first Blender tutorial, so if you guys have any questions, just ask me after because I have doubled the speed on this video. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be making an M4DA3 sniper rifle in Blender. Um, and we're going to go over some techniques like extruding and just a couple other things I've picked up on. Uh, so the first thing we do, we made a cylinder and then we're going to rotate it pressing R90 and size it up with the S key. And if you want to scale along an axis like I'm doing, you press S for example and then press Y for this one because we're doing a side view and then we scale along the x y axis sorry uh, we went into edit mode we're scaling along the z axis or x axis sorry we're scaling along the x axis so it doesn't look too fat because it's supposed to be the stock of the gun we're going to go and select it with b border select and then e extrude and then we're going to scale it along the z axis because if we don't then it's going to look all weird on the side so you, when you're scaling it because we're going to be moving it to fit the model in the background and then we're just going to extrude it and every time we make it smaller we have, or bigger we have to press Z uh, we're going to extrude it but when you're not making it smaller you can just not worry about that um, when you're editing and you're grabbing points you can press S for sizing, G for grab, R for rotate as you just see me do and you can E extrude any points that you select Another thing, if you guys are wondering how we, uh, if you're really new, um, if you want to get the background image, you just go to the view, which is in the top header, and you go to background image, and then you just load it up. And here we're just extruding some more. Uh, this video has been sped up twice as fast because the original was way too long, and it's pretty difficult for me to do it while I'm talking and not take up a huge amount of of time talking about what I'm doing. So if you guys have any questions, like I said before, just ask me. Um, I'm quite new at Blender myself, but I think I picked up on it quite quickly. Uh, we're not going to be doing an overly advanced model today though, this is just, just to, for learning purposes. And we're going to make the trigger now, so we went out into object mode, and now we're going to be making a plane, press spacebar, add plane, scale it down, make sure you guys are in the side view. And if it's flat when you first make it, press R Y ninety and it will rotate forward. And now we're extruding, making it smaller. And this isn't a cylinder, so you guys don't have to worry about pressing Z whenever you are scaling it and extruding it. Uh, R rotate, like I'm doing now. Um, went to top view so you can line everything up like the way it is like I'm matching it up with the top of the stock that we were making and if you guys want to move specific amounts you can press G which is grab and then press like point one it'll move to the left or the right and you can do press negative before that if you want specific and now we're just going to be B border select we're going to extrude it across try to make it even and symmetrical You can see it's about right in comparison to the stock. I'm moving on to the bipod. Insert another plane. Size it up. You can also grab along axes. So if you want to grab some points on a plane, you can press G. And I'm moving along the axis, so I press G Y. Um, select everything. Press W, which opens a specials menu, and it'll subdivide. And B border select. We're gonna grab these. And we're just going to scale them to match that part right there that gets smaller at the bottom. We're going to top view again. We're going to have to extrude it along the x-axis again. E extrude. And I think it automatically does it sometimes. It just has an automatic guideline. But if it doesn't, just press X and move it accordingly. And try to match it up as best as you can in the center. Uh, add a cylinder, rotate it, R90, scale it down, and then scale it along an axis. We're going to match it up on the side because there's a bolt there. So S, X, scale it accordingly, move it in the middle of that. That's going to be the bolt that's going to hinge on for our bipod. We're going to add another one, and we're going to get out, and we're going to go into... Actually, no, never mind. That's not what we're doing. We're not finishing bipod yet. Um, we're going to go add a circle, just a regular circle, and flip it with the R rotate and 
like make it line up to the side so that we just went in the front view right now and press S or E extrude first then S and it's gonna look like that and now you can guess we're just gonna extrude the whole thing along because it's very difficult to make a hollowed cylinder by starting with a cylinder so it's best to start with a circle E extrude I think I take a little bit longer here I'm just going to raise it up or down a little bit. Extruding some more. Um, I did not make a detailed bolt in this model. Um, if you guys want to see another tutorial or something on how to make the bolt, then tell me, but I don't expect this to get too many views. Um, I am not going to go over any animation in this tutorial. Uh, I still have to learn a bunch of animation myself, so when I learn and I think I'm capable in it, then I will make a video uh, showing some animation back to side view also if any of you guys don't know you can use the middle mouse button to freeform rotate and now I finally come back to the actual bipods I go back to object mode and we're gonna make them outside because you can select an object and they go to edit mode but then if you get too much mesh it starts to get messy so we're making the bipods the actual um, parts separate um, scale it along the, the y-axis and then we're going to extrude it course pressing S to make it smaller and you don't have to do this along the z-axis uh, earlier like we did with the stock because this is cylinder and it's actually going we actually want it to be different sizes along the x-axis so just extrude it and size it up normally uh, shift D for duplicate and we're actually gonna finally add a trigger separately because if anything when we make a trigger it's of course gonna be um it's going to be separate, right? Because if you're going to have a pull, in most games, I don't think there's actually a trigger pulling animation, but if you want to have it separate for whatever reason, then that's why I'm just making it separately outside, and making its own object in object mode. We're extruding and sizing down. And here I want to make a fine point for the actual tip of the trigger. So I extrude it, and there's two points, and I delete one point at the end. And then I select the three, and I press F to make a face. So think here, extrude it just delete one of the points at the end and then select the closest three and just press F to make a face. We're extruding it along the x-axis to make it thick. Centering it. And now we're going to make the part that actually holds the scope. I don't think we're going to get in the scope in this video uh, depending on how much time we have. Um, uh, Later, I'm going to show you some texturing whenever we finish making the scope and all that. So we're just going to make a plane, and then we're going to size it up. And now we're going to press Control R to do loop cuts and use your scroll wheel and spin up on it to add more. I, I add five, and then border select those points, and G grab, and we're going to be moving along axis. That's come that's not moving up or down. I'm moving it perfectly along the Y axis. Um, then we grab those two bottom points and we extrude them and you can grab them there's no big deal as you can see I'm grabbing them to the left and to the right moving that down farther and I'm going to extrude these upper points and size them down same with this side And I always do everything along an axis, like the X, Y, Z axis is probably your most useful tool to get exact amounts of everything. So you can grab along an axis, you can rotate along an axis, you can size up along an axis. So just remember your hotkeys for X, Y, and Z. And it's going to show the line of which you're doing everything along. And we make that side, as you can see. That's the part that's going to hold our scope. And here I press Control R again. I decide, I don't know what I'm doing. I think I subdivide it. But then I said it's better just to do Control R, and we're making two. As you can see, this part that holds the scope is going to go over the actual barrel, so we're just moving those sides uh, with using your scroll wheels. Make two cuts, and then we're just going to use S and scale them. This is a little bit tricky. We're going to scale them along the axis, so it doesn't actually make the anything we made smaller or larger. You can rewind to just uh, check what I did. I press Control R made two loop cuts and scaled them along an axis